So I get this question quite a bit, like do you need coding to be able to work in cybersecurity, in this case specifically as a security engineer? The short answer is it depends on where you work and it depends on which domain that you work in, but I'm gonna give a really comprehensive answer in this video. And at the end, I'm gonna talk about the experience I had interviewing at Amazon as a software security engineer, so that L5 position might shed some light on things. So when you say coding, right, do you need coding to work in cybersecurity? It kind of depends on which level of coding you're talking about. So for example, you can have no coding skill where you just have no idea code literacy which means you can kind of interpret basic code code modification which means maybe you can modify a script that you downloaded or that exists already to do what you needed to do you could have a basic coding level which means you can maybe create simple scripts or something like this you could be at an intermediate coding level which may be considered like a junior dev this is where you might start to understand the use of data structures and algorithms and version control you could be at like the application development level which is like you know maybe the entry level software engineer for one of the fang companies and then you could be like a software architect and beyond so it, you have to really consider exactly like which level of coding we're talking about and as well as which security domain we're considering now that we have an idea of the different levels of coding let's look at the different security domains as defined by isc squared for security and risk management, you can probably get away with not being able to code at all, but having some code literacy, like being able to understand simple code might come in handy now and then. Same thing with asset security, you can probably get away with not being able to code, it just kind of depends on where you work and what you're doing, because if you're dealing with a lot of software assets, you may need to be able to interpret code sometimes in order to help address certain vulnerabilities. It just kind of depends on where you work and what you're doing. For security architecture and engineering, you're probably going to need at least an intermediate level of code coding all the way up to architecture because you're probably going to be doing some kind of threat modeling in terms of like software applications or systems and you're probably going to need to understand some systems design components as well so it at least intermediate level of coding for this for communication and network security i would say at least be able to interpret code but i'd recommend being able to write basic scripts and this is because uh, sdn like software defined networks is in use so more than likely you're going to have to interpret some code somewhere if you're working in this domain but I would recommend being able to write basic scripts at least. For identity and access management, depending on where you're working, you can probably get away with not being able to code, but you may need at least a, a basic level, like being able to interpret some code in case you need to understand some kind of authentication protocol or something where there might be some JSON involved or maybe some like custom authentication in some app that you're dealing with. So it just depends, but I've seen a lot of people work in IAM and they just like cannot code, so. For security and assessment testing, I would at least be able to write a basic script. It kind of depends on what you're doing, but basic ability to code is probably going to be useful. If you're doing some kind of a automated test, you may need to you may need to write some kind of script to do something. But this could range all the way up to full on application development level. It just kind of depends like where you're working and what you're doing. So for security operations, if you're working in like a SOC and dealing with logs and that type of thing, at the very least, you should be able to interpret code, but I would recommend being able to produce basic scripts on your own in case you need to automate something. And then lastly, software development security. At the very least, I would recommend an intermediate level of coding all the way up to the architecture level. I say architecture because you're likely going to be doing like a lot of security related systems design and threat modeling that will require you to have like an understanding of like a bunch of microservices and how stuff communicates and be able to identify vulnerabilities in code. So bare minimum, I would say like intermediate level of coding all the way up to architecture level. And talking about my experience really fast, um, I actually interviewed at Amazon at an L5 position for a software security engineer. So I can kind of talk about the coding aspects of that interview loop I had to deal with. So there was like three coding sections. I had like five interviews and three of them included coding. The first one was basically like code literacy and code modification. Like I had to interpret some code. So they basically showed me this snippet of code and they were like, find the vulnerabilities. And I had to like pick out things like, oh, they're hard coding credentials in the code. Oh, they're using the root credentials to like access the database. Like, oh, they're not validating input on the back end. Like these kind of like basic vulnerabilities I had to pick out the second and third interviews those were both leak code easy problems so I think the second one it was like a decoding problem where there was like a, a key given to me and then like a, a binary string and I had to like decode the binary string but it was like a basic loop and pattern matching it was pretty easy and the second one uh, the third interview was something similar like this I think it was like some form of Caesar cipher or something like this so I'd say for like an Amazon L5 software security engineer kind of
kind of in between Cody's coding levels two and five, where I had to like have a basic code literacy in order to like find vulnerabilities and then an intermediate level of coding. So I had to like understand and implement some kind of data structure and algorithms problem. So I hope that makes sense. If you disagree with any of this, let me know in the comment section and let me know why. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.